The screen is set. George for two. Getting it done on the offensive glass. Sweet entry pass for two. And DeAndre Jordan with a strong rebound. Kicks it out to the corner. He curls. Jordan, now it's time to go to the line. Score the goal and one. Marc Gasol picks up his second. Take the hit, finish, and then walk to the free throw line for your three-point play opportunity. Able to hit the free throw, and it's a three-point play. The shot clock down to 12 seconds remaining. What a rejection. To George. Shoots it for two. Paul George with a nice dish. The ball movement in this game has been phenomenal, forcing a lot of defensive rotations and ultimately a lot of passes leading to direct scores. Nice adjustment, still looking for a foul. If you consistently get dribble penetration and are allowed to finish at the rim, it's no wonder that you're winning by a large margin. We're down to nine seconds on the shot clock. Fakes the drive, but steps back. And Mark Gasol with his 13th rebound. Screen set nicely. Gets to the rim. Gets to two. Lucky roll. That's just a nice layup right there. Two minutes gone by in the third. Los Angeles is down by 18. 11 seconds remaining on the 24. Jordan's trying to get down low. Leonard for two. Leonard can't get that one to go either. Hood. Oh, he loses it. Here's a steal. Sends it to the corner. Lynn from three-point territory. Oh, strong finish on the hustle. Just got to keep playing the game. Push the ball in transition. You get it to the rim. Good finish. Hey, you've got a big mountain to overcome with this deficit, but you're just trying to win each and every possession. Down into the lane. The penetration and the... It's good. And one. And the foul is called against Leonard. Toronto six for six from the free throw line. Great concentration to finish the play and get the three-point play opportunity. And that completes the three-point play. Lynn running the team. Good switching on defense. Blocked and handled. Moves around the defender. No, he shoots it. Parker the rebound. Turns it over, nobody there. The Raptors get the inbound. Three and a half gone by in the third. LA's down by 19. Perfect entry pass. Gets it off, that's a two-pointer. Quick rebound by Parker. 
to Batum. Now clearing it out for an isolation. Shot clock says 12, denied by Gasol. Hey, sometimes you don't get your block shots early. Sometimes the offense, give them credit. They're gonna shoot the ball early. They're gonna pass it as you come to help. But what he's done is continued to make plays defensively here in the second half, blocking shot after shot. Grant against Lynn. Oh, excellent screen. Nice pass. Gets the wide open look for three. In and out. George, the coach on the floor. Trying to take it all the way. George fires while off balance. And that's his fifth rebound of the game. On the drive, just won't go from point blank range. I like what I see. Keep attacking, and it's stolen. For the layup, won't drop off the glass. To Lynn. Ten seconds to go on the shot clock. With the fake, sweet. Oh, nice fake. Now to the basket. Los Angeles two for four from the line. And a foul is called. Mark Gasol picks up his third foul of the night. And he connects on the first free throw. Gasol the rebound. Wow, he's really having a hard time from the line tonight. There's the pick. Curls in, blows past his man. Two points on the layup. This defense is the reason why they cannot compete here tonight. He tries to step back. Georgia shot off the mark. Some might question that shot right there. I like that shot. You have a great player who's a great shooter. I like the creativity. He just missed it. Gasol fires away for two. And L.A. calling for a timeout. They have lots to discuss. You can't let the game slip away here. This was the necessary timeout that was called to break the momentum. Paul George will get to inbound. Batum's looking for the screen to get himself open. Parker for three off the catch and shoot. Won't go. Three pointer just off the mark. Los Angeles is hoping to stop this run and stop it now. Soft touch gets the roll. If you can't get your defense back and set and make them play in a half court, you're going to be in big trouble. Here, once again, exploited in transition, right at the basket. You're not winning with that type of defense. To Parker. Sensley with the step back. That won't go. Gasol. Fires away for two. Jordan the rebound. George 
setting up the play into the front court, desperate for some points. Three point attempt. And he led to the line for the second time tonight. There's the whistle. And he hits the first free throw. It's the second free throw. One more to come. Paul George with 11 points. Great pass. Puts it up. Gasol's unable to put it in off the glass. This defense just isn't good enough. The ball's at the basket too often, too easily. He just missed a very makeable shot. Trying to work it down low to the basket, flips it up. Can't connect from close range. You've got to protect the basket in this league. Good job defensively tonight, not allowing makes at the rim. Still plenty of time, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Jennings flips it up and it rolls in. That's a 15 to six run for the Raptors. To George. Smith against Jennings. 11 seconds now on the shot clock. Steps back for the jumper. And Paul George with a nice play. You want to fashion a comeback? You do it by scoring off the mid-range pull-up game. Very good basketball right there. Can't get it to go from close range. Smith. Jennings the rebound. Beats his man to the rim. Unable to flip it in. Throws it out for the outlet. Bad pass taken away there by Jennings. Inside. Tried to bag it. No good. Oh, he went for the highlight play right there with the big lead. You got to make sure you continue to play the game fundamentally sound and not lose your focus. To Gasol. Pretty pass. And drops it in. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. To Smith. Oh, there's that Euro step move. Pretty. That's a two. Ball comes loose. Turnover forced by Lynn. Oh, he beats the defender. Gets it and quickly shoots that three. J.R. Smith with his third assist of the night. And this is what basketball is all about. Who wouldn't love the way this team has been moving and sharing the ball? Lynn's trying to get free off the pick. Lynn from outside, a three-pointer. And Jeremy Lynn with a three-pointer. And Toronto calls a timeout. You're trying to slow down the opposition's momentum. This was a necessary timeout to regain control of this game. The momentum is going against you. You as a coach have to take control and get your team organized once again. Personnel change going on right now. Screen set nicely. In the paint. And he gets to go back to the free throw line. Couple of more free throws. There's the whistle. Nice job drawing the foul.
first free throw. Good. And he makes them both. Aaron passes and he takes it off the head. Jennings on the drive, lets it go. He rattles it in. When you're playing with a big lead, your players cannot take possessions off, and I like the example that this unit is showing. Forcing a turnover and then not resting, not conserving energy, pushing the ball and getting a transition opportunity. Makes the adjustment and banks it in. Drive, drive, drive. That's the only chance you have of getting back into this game. And now he moves around the defender, lays it in. You need guys who can beat their man off the dribble and finish at the basket. Batum choosing the screen, looking to get free. Batum for two, lets it go. Batum's off target. You gotta figure out how you can get a better quality shot and use your greatness to attract the second defender and find the open man. Jennings against Smith. Jennings for two, puts it up, off the mark. Hey, when you're going up against the great shooters in this league, you need to combat that with tenacity and passion. Tremendous defensive possession, forcing the miss against one of the great shooters in our league. Let's it go for two. No good. It's all about making your teammates better. And the way you make them better is to give up a good shot to try to create a great shot. Goes to the goal. And Brandon Jennings with the bucket. Down the dunk. Third quarter comes to an end. Fourth quarter coming up. LA is down by 13. We'll have more NBA action coming up for you right after this short break. to the fourth quarter the coaching staff really has to be pleased with what they've seen so far Jeff yeah and they've got to keep on doing what they're doing to keep on getting what they're getting they've got a comfortable lead they got to keep working at the game and if they do this one will be over nice fake quick move to get inside a lucky roll off the rim great dribble drive there to get to the basket and finish with an easy layup. Smith. Entry pass gets it inside. Puts it up. Ooh, misses the inside shot. This guy's a great shooter. They were on him like Velcro and forced to miss. Good defense. Looking to curl in to the rim. Off the glass for two. It's hard to guard NBA-level athletes who handle the ball. Here, using his dribble drive opportunity, gets in the paint and finishes right at the rim with strength. Great luck. Strong finish at the rim. And that kind of dunk makes an impression, Mike. He's letting people know he's down there.
Shot clock down to 12 seconds remaining. For two. Great rebounding on the offensive glass. At the rim. Banks it in for two. Very efficient use of the dribble right there to get by the defender and make the layup. To Batum. Oh, excellent screen. The ball comes loose. Great hands there. Out of bounds. It'll be Clippers ball. And looks like some substitutions going to be made now for the team. The Clippers get the inbound in here. Shot clock says 12. Puts it up for two. Leonard's shot badly misses way off. To the basket, gets the two. Lucky roll. A great shooter's never even noticed the defenders. He thought he was out in the park shooting by himself. Oh, he can't stay with him. And Kawhi Leonard with the jump shot. Knocks it down for three. All right, Jeff, which do you like better? Leonard's newfound scoring prowess or that great defense that's always been there? And it starts with what you said. He, he was a great defender when he came in the league. But the improvement offensively in his shooting, in his... one-on-one -on -one game in his pick and roll game has really been fun to watch and as he's grown year after year he seems like his confidence is shining through to Jordan throws it down you got to get your guys down the floor in transition quicker than they can get back if you can rebound it and then get it up the floor you're gonna have numbers to exploit the basket opportunities Attack the rim. Don't settle for jumpers. Finish strong. Batum's looking to get free off the screen. Leonard gets in the paint. Terrific rejection. Wide open for three. Misses from beyond the arc. Listen, when you're not making shots, it looks bad. There's no other way around it. It doesn't mean they're executing poorly. It's just when they're getting these threes and both teams are missing, you're not getting the results you'd like. Gasol lets it go. Hits the shot. Mark Gasol shooting 56% from the field. Green set nicely. There's the step back. Nice adjustment. Leonard misses another one. Oh, rejected. Gets to the rim. Bank shot. No good. Hey, you want to win in this game? You got to protect the paint in the last two minutes of a close game. Still plenty of time, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Nice fake, makes the defense look silly, making the baseline move. With three seconds, he puts it up from downtown. Won't go for three. Tightly contested shot. That was gonna be tough to make, no matter who you are. And they call timeout.
coach going to make some changes and switch up the matchups. Grant against Lynn. And the defense switches to Gasol. Pretty fake, fools the defense. Oh, <laughs> throws it right back at him. Parker fires away. Nice finish around the rim. For the layup, just rolls in off the rim. Strong move off the dribble penetration to finish at the rim. To Leonard. Puts it up. It's good. And a foul. And it's on to the free throw line. One shot to complete the three-point play. Absorbs the contact, finishes the shot, and now works his way to the free throw line. Able to convert the free throw, and he completes the three-point play. Grant against Lynn. He shoots. And Paul George with his sixth rebound. To Parker. Oh, excellent screen. Curling in. Fires for three from the corner. And Kawhi Leonard with the jumper. Puts it in. Got to be careful not to step out of bounds on the corner three. He does it, and he knocks it home. Loses the defender. Grant from downtown. Grant's three-pointer off the mark. Into the paint. Now here's the isolation. Gets past the defender. To the basket, flips it up. And that's his fifth rebound of the game. A pretty entry pass. Gasol for two, shoots away. Misses at the rim. To keep a team in sight, you've got to make sure you protect the basket and contest shots. To Leonard. Here's the pick. Ten seconds now on the 24. With the fake, sweet to the rim. Soft touch gets the roll. Nice move inside to the rim. Branch try for a banker. Won't go. Hey, you got to finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket. You got to put the ball in the hole. George on the drive. Creates some space with that step back. George misfires again. Hey, that's a tough shot, but I'd rather have a good player taking a bad shot than a bad player taking a good shot. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, terrific feed inside. Oh, he tried to bank it. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. And a full timeout is called. Jeff, what's the coach's thought process right now? When you see the full timeout being taken, oftentimes staffs get together away from their teams to do a number of things. One is to discuss necessary. Maybe they're discussing matchup adjustments and sometimes the head coach is just complaining about the players who are in the game at that moment and as an assistant coach your job is to nod your head yes up and down vigorously like you understand the pain that the head coach is going through at that moment sometimes it is that simple
Brandon Jennings has entered the game for the Raptors. He's got eight points in this matchup. Passes it back to him. Eleven seconds remaining on the 24. Time is not on their side. What will they do? No one even close. He fires for two. And Kawhi Leonard with a nice look sinks it. This is what's so impressive about this comeback. It's so easy to let go of the rope when you're on the road and you get down big. And they didn't do that. They continued to persevere. And now they're right back in the ball game. To George. Fires for three. Knocks it down. It's a two-point game. Jennings is using the screen, trying to get free. It's a loose ball. And it's a turnover. Gets a good look. Just won't go from point blank range. The Saul. 11 seconds now on the shot clock. Puts it up, counted, gets it to go inside. Lynn directing traffic. Three pointer. Not able to hit from beyond the line. It's all about making your teammates better. And the way you make them better is to give up a good shot to try to create a great shot. To Jennings. Playing inside out. Three misfires from long distance. Hey, this is the last two minutes of a game. If you're a professional and you're wide open, you've got to knock the shot in. Tries again from three-point land. George misses again. Some might question that shot. Puts it in and draws the foul. Los Angeles seven for ten from the line here tonight. You make mistakes like fouling softly late in close games, you deserve to lose. convert the free throw. We breach crunch time here in this game. Hood's looking for the screen to get himself open. Puts it up for three. A long range jumper is off the mark. Screen set nicely. To Lynn. Let's it go. Doesn't get the roll. Terrific feed. Gets to the right. Puts it in. Four point game. And Doc Rivers calls time as this one's coming to an end. You don't need a three right now. Attack the basket, get the quick two or get to the free throw line, which allows you to set your defense and try to force a turnover. And Jeremy Lin will be the man for the inbound. To Leonard from deep in the corner. Ref calls the foul, no choice there. They had to stop the clock.
And there's the foul. They had to stop that clock. First free throw, perfect. Nice job at the line. They're now up six. To Leonard. Throws it up from deep in the corner. And this one is over. The final score is 107 to 101. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying good night. Major Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post game wrap up. The Raptors finish with a narrow victory on the scoreboard. When you're that effective from three, it becomes difficult to lose a game. Now, it may not have been the prettiest win, but it's still a win. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Toronto Raptors. The Clippers are probably frustrated with themselves after such a narrow loss. They definitely could have won a three-point contest with the way they shot the ball here today. But the goal was to win the game. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Los Angeles Clippers. Game track. Bench points. The reserves from each of these teams made an impact on this game. But to see as a coach, depth is what helps so many teams win playoff games. And here we've got the game stats for you. Player of the game. Mark Gasol could not have been more impressive in this game. The way he scored the basketball looked like he was playing with kids in high school. So, what kind of shooting was it? Have a look. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Here's our top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time.